My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. Ladies and gentlemen, this is episode number 74 of the 120 Days to Jam Chemistry with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall continue from where we stopped. In the previous episode, we looked at the arcanes and we said that arcanes are characterized by single bonds. We looked at arcanes, the general formula of arcanes and the structural formula. This is general formula. And we said that for arcanes, the functional group is double bond. For arcanes, the functional group is triple bond. Then for arcanons, the functional group is OH. And the general formula is ROH or CN H2N plus 1 OH, which is the structural formula. This is the homologous series. Here is the general formula. And for the general formula, you'll be able to pick out the functional group. For example, in arcanons, CHO is the functional group. For arcanons, CO is the functional group. For arcanoic acid, COOH is the functional group. For esters, COO is the functional group. Or COOR, COO basically. For ethers, not esters, ethers, O is the functional group. For amines, NH2 is the functional group. For amides, CO, NH2 is the functional group. For nitrites, CN is the functional group. C triple bond to N. In every general formula or in every structural formula, you will definitely see the functional group. And most times, the functional group is what is remaining after you remove the archaic group from the general formula. That is it. And I said, we are starting from arcanas to esters, then number 9 to 12. Nitrite. For arcanas, the functional group is basically CO or we say CHO, but CO is more appropriate. You have an archaic group like this, less AH and H. Once this carbon at the terminal is attached to oxygen with double bond, this is an arcana. Now look at the difference between arcana and arcanones. For arcanones, N-O-N-E-S, also referred to as ketones, you have the C double bonds to O in between two archaic groups. Arcanas and arcanones are generally treated together. But the difference between arcanas and arcanones is that the double bonds to oxygen, the CO in arcanas, is at the end. It is always at the terminal. But for arcanones, the carbon to oxygen bond is at the middle, in between two archaic groups. That is why it is arrow arrow prime CO or the structural formula CN H2N plus 1. Then you have the CO and CN H2N plus 1. If you have something like this, C, C, H, H, and H, then you have something like this. C, H, H, and H. You see that this carbon needs two bonds to complete. Once you add oxygen here, oxygen can carry two bonds. This is complete. What is the difference between this guy and this guy? For here, you see that the C double bonds to O, or the functional group, is in between two sides. Here is a metal group, here is a metal group. This is arrow and this is another arrow. The arrow can be very long or very short. It just adds more carbons and hydrogen. That is what increases the arrow. But irrespective of the number of arrows you decide to arrive at, 
the C double bond to O should be inside the carbon atom in between two alkyl groups. That is what makes alkanose. But for alkanas, this C double bond to O or this CHO must be at the terminal, either at the beginning or at the end. It can't be in between. That is what differentiates alkanase and alkanose. For alkanoic acid, it is ROCOOH. You have an alkyl group, then you have OOH. Let's make use of this alkyl group. This is an alkyl group, methane losing one hydrogen to be methyl. If you add this functional group, COOH, that is C to OH to O, that is it. Carbon, two bonds to oxygen, one bond to oxygen and hydrogen. This is the same thing as like this. So OH is something like this. This is alkanoic acid. C O O H. This guy has two carbon. We can call that propanoic acid. Then for esters, it is arrow C O O arrow prime. What does it mean? Esters is similar to alkanoic acid, and the difference between esters and alkanoic acid is similar to the difference between alkanas and alkanoids. For alkanoic acid, you see that the COOH is towards the end. It can be at the end here or at the beginning. But for esters, it has COO, something like this. C, double bond to O, and to another O. Now, to in, this, in the end of the second O, you have an alkyl group. Let's say something like this. Hydrogen, 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 hydrogen. So, for esters, the functional group is in between two alkyl groups. And it is not at the terminal. And it is COO. That is the similarity, the differences, the whatever, between esters and alkanoic acids. The ethers has oxygen in between two alkyl group. Alkyl group, alkyl group, and oxygen in between. That is uh, this guy for you, ethers. What now differentiates it from alkanas? Alkana is something like this, like I said. And what differentiates ethers from alkanones? Knowing that alkanones have double bond to oxygen. This is the discrepancy. For ethers, it is not like this. The carbon bonds to oxygen and it is from the second oxygen the other alkyl group gets attached to. So the other one, it doesn't go straight to carbon. Oxygen goes straight to the alkyl group. Our primary amines is simply when you attach NH2 to an alkyl group. Something like this. You add NH2, you form primary amine. The amide is when you add CO NH2 to an alkyl, arrow CO NH2. The nitrite, when you attach C triple bonds to N to an alkyl group. That is it. Now, this episode or homologous series is to make you have idea of the previous homologous series. It doesn't mean We've treated everything about alkanas or alkanos or acid here. No, it is just an intro. From next few episodes, we shall be treating this homologous series as a single series. Like, we treat alkanas, everything about alkanas, their properties. Then you see structures and members that belong to the group. Then you see alkanons, acids are treated specially. And you see their members and everything about them. If you don't understand very well yet, you have nothing to lose so far because we shall treat them individually and you shall see all the various compounds of this homologous series. It is going to be a glorious and interesting series. Trust me, I am Flash ID. So, see you in the next episode. Make sure you are fine and make sure you are good.